I think it's a common misconception that big businesses don't like regulation. But in fact, big businesses do like regulation. They like regulation because you need regulation to act as barriers of, to entry for other um, companies or um, regulations that help create a standard like the gap accounting standards or um, anything that makes it easier for um, some foreign investors to understand the businesses and to invest in our economy. Um, so yes, we do agree that the government intervention is necessary to create these regulations. And in fact, big, big businesses are um, leading the way, um, pushing for these regulations or for these policies to help create standards that um, e even small businesses would have to follow and it makes it easier for us just to be efficient in the economy. Another argument for big business is more the increasing lack of government intervention in society. We keep talking about we're going to be cutting the budget and next year we're, the Republicans are hoping to cut six trillion out of the federal budget. So obviously we have to keep rolling back these social programs for our country. And to some extent, people are hoping that these large businesses will step in and fill the void left by the lack of government social programs as they continue to cut the budget. I guess I just wanted to add a, a more general comment um, because it's it, you know it's it's difficult to argue that uh, this corporate takeover um, thesis and and I mean I think about a lot of the examples you're saying you know Exxon not paying taxes and things but I mean that has to do a lot of things like you know oil subsidies and um, and uh, and all sorts of um, subsidies that the government offers to Boeing and Lockheed um, and, and I mean that's a question yes that you have to ask the government and I don't know I mean yes there's lobbying but I also think a lot of responsibility goes on the government so you can't necessarily blame um, the big businesses and um, for you know getting these subsidies because it also has a purpose to serve you know the society here um, and um, also big businesses I'm not sure this is really an argument they don't always make so many profits either they just have large amounts of capital um, a lot do but not all um, airlines, for instance, we need them. They don't make uh, a lot of money at all. They're usually, they go through bankruptcy, and, um, but, the, the, but the economy needs them, and, and society needs them, so, um, so they're necessary. So I just wanted to point out that government intervention there is, is important. All right, so that's gonna be our uh, last question. And I guess I'll ask the judges to take some time to think about um, you know, which side you think uh, may have argued stronger case. And um, like to thank our debaters for researching all semester and presenting these arguments. You guys did a great job. And I think we should all give them a big round of applause. We need a steel drum or something, yes? Only if you shimmy on the way up. I shimmy unintentionally, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. I as always, I'm always very impressed with the amount of energy and effort both teams have done. I think I've judged these competitions in whole or part five or six times now, and they're always a reason, one of the main reasons I love coming back up to UMass. Um, here's how we, how we apply. We felt that the small business team had a good balanced argument and provide a good level of detail. We also appreciated that the multinational pro team 
did address effectively economies of scale and that the small cluster approach didn't seem appropriate for certain businesses like telecom and railroads and we kind of went through some of that. That all said, we all agree that the small business team was more effective in this debate. So congratulations to the small business team. Well, thank you very much to our judges um, for your questions and your, uh, your hard work there. And uh, <clears throat> I want to especially congratulate the, the, the small business team that won and congratulate all of the uh, debaters for um, their, their excellent presentations. Uh, so we have some awards um, to hand out, a certificate for all our debaters. Uh, Daniel Brock. Ryan King. Angela Lee. Laura Molino. Thomas Peake. Daniel Schwartz. <laughs> and last but not least, Luke Seberg. <laughs> and uh, we also have for all the debaters and uh, our judges, if we can find them to fit, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> this fabulous t shirt. Yay! <laughs> who was designed by. Anastasia designed this great t-shirt for, everybody should look at it, it says, um, it has kind of a monopoly, little kind of monopoly board there and uh, says, uh, big business, promoting social welfare, question mark. So uh, we have the right sizes for you all and uh, I think, where do we have the t-shirts? I have them. In the back. Um, so congratulations uh, to everybody. Um, first of all, I want to uh, thank, a few people. I want to thank uh, Nicole Dunham, who's done a, a great job in helping to, to organize the event. <laughs> to Ge Kevin Crocker, our undergraduate program director, who did a terrific job helping with the debate. And uh, I want to also thank Jackie Brown Hazard, who could not be here today because there was a death in her family, but she did a lot of work putting this whole thing together. So let's all thank Jackie as well. So following uh, the debate, now uh, we have our, um, our majors, economics majors awards um, event, uh, end of semester celebration, and barbecue. So please stay for the food and uh, the awards and um, enjoy yourselves. Congratulations to everybody.